29 forecast. A lot of you had a rare sight yesterday morning. Hello, I'm meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. That is a rainbow in the morning hours. Typically, you see a rainbow in the late afternoon, evening hours as the sun is lower in the sky. But thanks to Jenny Hamlin in the Keswick area of Albemarle County showing that very vibrant rainbow moving across the sky. I don't think, though, she got the pot of gold at the end of that rainbow. But keep your pictures and videos coming. The easiest way to send them to us here in the Weather Center is through the Storm Team 29 Weather app. So if you see it, snap it, and send them our way. You may see your pictures and videos right here on the weather segment outside live on the top of wintergreen seeing a few growing clouds, a couple of showers nearby, especially north of this vantage point along the Blue Ridge Mountains in your Monday overnight first forecast. Any little shower will begin to dissipate, especially after sunset after 730 temperatures slowly dropping from the 80s into the 70s and some 60s into daybreak tomorrow with that near calm wind and the damp ground. Now some areas of fog will begin to form into tomorrow morning. Tuesday, we will lift any fog quickly by mid morning. Temperatures rising through the 60s, 70s, and then 80s, mid to upper 80s for the second half of the day, and the clouds will begin to billow on up, but only a small chance for a pop up shower during the day. By this time tomorrow evening into sunset dinner time, a better chance for a passing shower, downpour, and thunderstorm will begin to form out ahead of our next weather pattern changing cold front. So with extra clouds in the shower nearby in Waynesboro and Stanton, you're down in, into the 70s now. Shower nearby in Charlottesville, 85 degrees, but almost 90 currently in Orange, where it has been a dry day. NBC 29's live Doppler radar. It's showing just a little shower trying to pop up now as it crests over the Blue Ridge Mountains near Crozet. You've missed out on the rainfall over the past couple of days, but a little shower passing on by your neighborhood. I-64 corridor, Route 250, Route 6. Maybe moving closer into the Owensville vicinity, Doylesville. It may hold together impact areas along areas say north on 29 into Earliesville and perhaps Charlottesville. You may get a few sprinkles, perhaps a ground dampening shower in the next half hour. But the big picture shows in a cold front moving across the Midwest. This is due to town by tomorrow night, giving us a better chance for a shower and downpour. So not a lot going on tomorrow during the day, but here we go tomorrow evening on towards 5, 6, 7, 8 p.m. from west to east, a better chance for a shower and storm. Then it's dry Thursday and beyond through the weekend and also so a cooling trend. So tomorrow will be the hottest day of the next 7 to 10, barely 80 on Thursday and Friday. Active tropics, there's major hurricane Lee has a tiny eye with it. Put a track on this. It will actually side swipe Bermuda to the west, stay off the eastern seaboard, but it may get close to eastern New England and into Nova Scotia into next weekend. Forecast for the overnight upper 50s, mid 60s. Isolated shower areas of fog will form by dawn. Highs tomorrow in the 80s. Partly sunny sky, better chance for an evening shower and thunderstorm. Here's your seven day forecast, barely 80 on Thursday and Friday after a better chance for a passing shower and storm on Wednesday. So nice and dry Thursday, Friday, overnight lows in the 50s and even a few upper 40s.